from USA's Up All Night, please welcome our very own Ms. Rhonda Shear! because Bud Friedman comes up with new material, yeah! <laughs> wow, I'm excited. How many people here know me from USA? Up all night! Thank you very much. And for those of you who don't know, I host an educational program. Yeah, sort of a study of the anatomy. So let me check this out. By applause, how many people here tonight are married? By applause. <laughs> married. Very nice. And how many people here, by applause, are single? <laughs> single people have so much hope. <laughs> they hope, they holler, they're excited, but there's side benefits to marriage that we single people don't know about, like sex every night. <laughs> and occasionally your partner will join in. <laughs> There's the other side benefits of marriage, like the comfort of being married. For instance, you can be taking a bath together, and a few little bubbles come up, no one says anything. <laughs> Look, dear, it's the rotor rotor man. You can't do this in the beginning. You have to go through all that superficial stuff in the beginning, you know. For instance, we do things to rope you guys in. Things that we will never, ever do again, like cook. <laughs> And you have to eat whatever we made. And perhaps for some of you ladies, like for myself, a gourmet meal could be something like baked beans and broccoli. So a couple of hours later after that meal, sounds start coming out of the guy, you know what I mean? And uh, the girl goes, it's okay, someone lights a match, everything's fine. <laughs> Six months later, you're living with that same guy, he does the same thing, this time he shoves your head under the covers <laughs> and is not letting you up for air. <laughs> My boyfriend just turned 40, and there's one thing I realize that you guys don't have to worry about when you turn 40, is losing your hair. Guys don't lose their hair, it just starts going into their scalp and out their nose and ears. <laughs> He's got like the greatest set of earmuffs. He's also, what can I say about my, well, my boyfriend, well, he's dyslexic. I fake the orgasm before we make love. <laughs> guy though really well he's a little naive like for instance he found some of my birth control devices my foams and sponges he used them to wash the car <laughs> the thing is after you're with someone for a while you know what they start to do they rush you to get dressed in the beginning they have patience but then they start rushing you he's going come on let's go let's go let's go let's go I go you're making me nervous I'm not going I look like a dog he says I don't care just grab the water bowl I've got the leash let's go <laughs> And then guys don't care. They have no sympathy if we're sick. Am I right, ladies? Yeah. Well, we can be rolling on the floor, pain, agony, cramps. And they'll go, oh, babe, you want me to throw you one of those Midas pills? <laughs> In the meantime, let Mr. Macho come home. You know, he's been drinking with his friends. All of a sudden, he becomes a little baby. I don't feel good. <laughs> don't leave me. I just made a doo-doo in my pants. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. You know why? Because we glamorize drinking in these beer commercials. Guys that drink beer get the babes in these commercials, you know? I know that's how I feel when I'm with my friends. It's basically, yeah, I'll take the guy, the belching one, <laughs> with the beer belly and the butt crack. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> we think differently than you guys. That's what it is. Like, for instance, we're driving down the street. What do women do? We put on makeup. What does a guy do? They pick their nose. <laughs> we think on a higher level because we're thinking that we have to look great for that two-for-one sale and he's thinking, gee, I think I have a booger in my nose. <laughs> guys do those things. Married people do those. Are you guys married? Look at you. You're what, what's your name? Maggie. Maggie? Maggie. 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 And what's your name? Gary. Maggie and Gary. And, and so you've you been going together for a long time? About a year. Out of year. That's very Gary and Maggie. That's very well. Let me. Maybe you can help me out. Do you mind, Maggie, if, if I if I borrow Gary? Oh, please. Well, let me tell you what, what this is about. I'm getting ready to audition for a soap opera next week, and I'm very very excited about this because I've never done this sort of acting. You know those soap, those daytime soaps, and I'm very nervous about it. So I have a little script up here. Could you come up here, Gary? Maggie, you don't mind if I borrow? How about a hand for Gary? He's gonna come. This is very. Look 
like a soap actor. Doesn't he look like he does? Maggie, you're a, a very... He, he doesn't pick his nose or anything. Okay, all right, now listen. You have to get into character here. We're talking soap opera, okay? You know, all right. Now, come here, come here, come here. Look, this is a script. You're going to read this, Gary. Okay. Okay, this is all you have to remember is I'm Rhonda and you're the man. Okay. Okay, you ready? This is our big soap scene. Here we go. I'm Rhonda, you're the man. All right, here we go. <laughs> I missed you, Gary. Where have you been? I did a lot of thinking, and now I realize how much I love you. <laughs> but, but Gary, what about Maggie? She looks so nice. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> but wait, wait. What if Maggie finds out? Who cares what that old bat thinks? <laughs> but, but you won't get in trouble. You'll get paid after all. But if you leave Maggie, then you could leave me, Gary. Never. She sucks. <laughs> Besides, we could be in the tabloids together. That's true. But before we elope, Gary, just tell me, have you had any other, have you had any other, other affairs? Just one. With my mother-in-law. I left her for my barber, Tony. We changed the line, it was Fred. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, now. The hus, the... No, they hug and you squeeze. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, he, he's kissing her, he's hugging her. This is, that was very good. All right, I have one closing thought, though, before I leave. Um, this is sort of a New Year's thought for all of you guys. How many people here, including you two, have the problem of, uh, or ladies, where your guy leaves the toilet seat up? How many people have ever gotten up, ladies, in the middle of the night and fallen in? By applause. Okay, this just happened to me last week, so this is what I did. I got up in the middle of the night, went to the bathroom, fell in. So what I did was I got back in with my wet butt, and I sat on his face. 